my character in the book is is often described as an imp, and uh, so I tried to make him as impish or mischievous and uh, kind of um, naughty as possible. Do you have the chance to meet uh, the author, Sarah? I met her yesterday for the first time. Oh, yeah, That's yeah. Awesome. No, because I, I was never there when she came on set, oh. um, and she had this amazing dress, very mm. stellary kind of blue dress. Looked, yeah. Um, yeah. And she, yeah, it was it was it was so nice to finally get to say thank you for you know writing this like mm. writing this story. Yeah. Essex is so particular. If you if you see it, it's it's like it's really a really beautiful, very very yes. very yes. beautiful place, and very very gothic. And yes. I mean, also it used to be the center of England at some point. Colchester was so mm. it's got a very old old feeling and lots of ghosts uh, live in the woods and stuff. <laughs> Hi, this is Divya from CNN News 18. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and what was night like? I mean, you know, we've just been looking at the pictures from the screening of uh, the web series. It was good. It's good, yeah. Very, um, very sugary cocktails. <laughs> sort of like drinking Haribo. <laughs> Just uh, pink, pink uh, champagne. So that was... <laughs> That was fun, um, and it was nice. It was really great to see the show. Yeah, yeah, yes. All right. Now, I have to thank you uh, both of you, you know, for bringing in such a brilliant and satisfying web series, and of course for very compelling characters that we get to see from you. How would you want your on-screen demeanor to be described as? I don't know. I want people and to <laughs> Impish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My character in the book is is often described as an imp, and uh, so I tried to make him as impish or mischievous and uh, kind of um, naughty as possible. <laughs> Clemens, what, what about you? I'm not sure. I just kind of I just hope, hope I just hope she's there. I, I'm not I'm not sure. I've got any sort of sp specific wish as to how. I'd like her to be described. Um, I hope she's um, as complex as I thought she was. I hope she's not too much of one thing, I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, you know, I have to say that the series is uh, is about mystery and of course, you know, excellent characterization. But, but Essex in reality isn't just about hunting for fossils because, you know, we see uh, Essex as, as an important character so what are your fond memories about it? About Essex? Yes. Um, well, we were in a very specific um, spot in Essex. I think we kind of, uh, uh, and, it, and it felt very mysterious and dark at times and beautifully wild at times and kind of, um, yeah, it just felt like sort of nature was still very much, um, um, would you say, part like a, 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 a character yeah. of, of of the story mm. that we had to kind of deal with and respect, <laughs> kind of yeah. respect the tides hours, respect the sort of um, the, yeah, what was weather. the weather, yeah. um, and and kind of. Um, I'm not even sure it could have been shot anywhere. Else. Like yeah. Essex is so particular. If you if you see it, it's it's like. It's really a really beautiful, very, very, yes. very yes. beautiful place and very, very gothic. And yes. I mean, also it used to be the center of England at some point, Colchester was. So mm. it's got a very old, old feeling and lots of ghosts uh, live in the woods and stuff. <laughs> and are you happy that you know, The Essex Serpent um, is a web series and not a film? Because, you know, as a web series, the plot moves at a very realistic pace. The character growth is is sort of you know there you know it can be expanded and audience get the time you know to get more comfortable and familiar with the characters so are you happy it's not a film but a web series oh i'm sure it would have been a really you know beautiful film but it would have had to be three hours four mm. hours long to because the book is so dense that yeah it's probably it's probably good that it's got the time to kind of explore all its aspects mm. rather than having to it would probably have had to choose 
mm. much more. Um, yes, no, I like that it was yeah. have, has time to breathe. And uh, did you have the chance to meet uh, the author, Sarah? I met her Sorry. yesterday for oh. the first time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, because I, I was never there when she came on set. Oh. Um, okay. And she had this amazing dress, very mm. stellar kind of blue dress. Looked, yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was it was it was so nice to finally get to say thank you for you know writing this like mm. writing this story. So, did any reaction come in from her uh, for the web series? I hope. Yeah, she seems happy. I think she um, she um, she seems happy. I I I I, ho I hope it's always a, a fear. I, I spoke to her early on, and I was remember leaving the. The conversation being a little bit um, nervous because obviously she knows these characters so well, and you kind of have to take it away from her and do do your own thing with it. And um, in the back of my mind, I always hoped that's always the main thing, really, is you you try and do your character justice. And if the author knows the character intimately, you know they can um, tell you whether you did or didn't achieve that so but she seems happy yes thank you so much my time is up and all the very best for the web series it's going to be like uh it will continue to be a hit with the viewers thank you for your time thank you thank you